So we're here at uh, Analog Devices, and uh, who are you? Hello, my name is Jan M. Broeders, uh, responsible for business development um, for healthcare at Analog Devices. So what is Analog Devices doing for healthcare? In fact, what we are doing is trying to, uh, to, to sell you complete solutions. So what you see here is an, uh, a wristphone device that includes a uh, complete analog... This one, right? Yes. So this is no analog device here, it's just the one. Yes, yeah. it's an analog watch, the yeah. other one. So, yeah. uh, but the, the device in, internally actually has an, uh, a complete solution for measuring optical heart rate. So what we do is sending light into the tissue and we measure the reflection uh, coming back from this. And everything integrated in a single module. How uh, reliable is it compared to the best way possible to measure heart rate? Uh, reliability is one of you know the, the the anchors you know where we're focusing at uh, since you are applied to motion with these kind of measurements but also ambient light and that's where we try you know to do best so we have solutions to uh, cancel out the motion artifacts as well as the mo uh, the ambient light to have a reliable reading is your uh, solution here your soc is it the uh, cortex m3 that's correct so we have a cortex m3 that uh, consumes only 40 microamps per megahertz so very low power to extend the battery lifetime of your application. Is it one of the lowest power Cortex M3 in the world? It is. It is the lowest, maybe. It's uh, it's the lowest at the moment. Uh, people, of course, are catching up. But for the, from this perspective, we have the complete solution from sensors, including the radio and the processor. How do you make it so low power? Um, it's in a combination of uh, the process that we're using and it's the very small the, process node or no? Uh, the process node is small uh, on this uh, this processor and in fact it's a complete family that we are developing. So for this you have analog and digital integrated in one module. Uh, that's why it's called analog devices because you're very good at analog stuff? That's it. So that's where we yeah. come from. And. Uh, so heart rate monitors are in a bunch of uh, smartwatches and uh, fitness trackers around the world. Is it your solution that's in theirs? Um, not in everyone, but you know we are um, we are a big player in this market. So we have um, our sensors uh, yeah. integrated in those applications, and it's not just the optical sensor for measuring the heart rate, but we have also the motion sensors built on the MEMS technology, uh, dissipating very little very, very little power. So we have a sensor that runs from one microamp. Where's analog devices based? We're actually in a US-based company, so located in Boston, uh, where we have also um, development and production facilities. Around the world? That's what we do around the world, but in Boston we have a, a big campus where we have thousands of people working on new developments. And uh, here's some demos showing the same sensor. Yes, yeah, so we, you have an, a sensor that is including the LEDs and the photodiodes. Um, everything you know behind the glass window. If you focus in on this board, you maybe you know can see it behind the glass window as well. There we have a tiny, a tiny device that includes LEDs, uh, red and infrared, optical sensors, and the analog front end. All right. And uh, right here? That's the interface board. So there was the, the previous generation. Everything that you, uh, that you see here is now integrated in the Swiss Worn device to make it uh, e easier to evaluate. Is analog devices doing all kinds of other stuff with healthcare? Oh yes, yeah, we, uh, we're still also in the professional world, so we're making front-ends for, uh, for scanner technologies, uh, CT imaging, X-ray, but also ultrasound. Can we look at uh, what's over here? This is a uh, vision-based uh, CMOS sensor, what is it about? So in fact what you see here is an actually a complete solution where we have a sensor, so an optical sensor, um, able to, um, to measure uh, occupancy. And with a Blackfin processor, we make it an, a complete solution for, uh, for instance, independent living. So, so what, what, you see, what, you, what you see on this, uh, this sensor, it's a 360 degree sensor, and you see here two hotspots of the, the, the two persons sitting on the table next to us. Where is it? So the sensor is on top, it's there. Is it 360? It's 360 degree watching. And, and, two, and how many facing degrees? Facing to the right. It's facing to the right. So and it's then it's 220 or something? Uh, 180. 180. It's 180. 180. So you see the two people you know, on, the, on, the, on, the, uh, on the table sitting over there, you know, with these two um, red uh, flags. So it's for detecting heat, um, or, or, living or, or, people. Or occupancy you know, in a room. So sometimes you know, in a room you want to switch on the lights when there are people, but for rescuers it would be good to know how many people are in the room. And that's actually what we do with this kind of sensors. All right, and over there, what are you talking about over here? Let's go check it out. Eliminate a battery? Uh, or are we just trying to yeah. uh, you know, assist the battery? And if you will, so, sorry, what, what is this? 
how's that right? So what, yeah. do, what, what do you have here? So actually, yeah, so we can, we can definitely talk. Send me an email, I'll send, send it back, and we'll... So we're using a PV sensor, and the PV sensor is, uh, is collecting uh, uh, light or energy. And in on this board, we have a step-up converter that um, is able to step up as um, for voltage as low as 70 millivolts. Yeah. And the 70 millivolt is converted into a 4 volt output. So it's a sensor board with a radio and a temperature sensor, and it's running from just an old PV cell. It's running uh, uh, from a uh, solar through a supercapacitor. Yes, and then you need for this a voice converter, of course, so to charge the, uh, the, the, the cell. Okay, so let's go check out this one over there. This is the last uh, demo you have over here. Uh, so what are, you, what are you showing over here? Towards the sensor. So this is a solution that Roman and his, his guys put together. So this is it actually a sensor has a patch antenna. Zero pin sensor. So it's a patch yeah, antenna the and there's an accelerometer the on this have, uh, and a microcontroller and a, uh, and a Complete system, accelerometer. So it's, yeah. it's yeah, accelerometer, uh, humidity, temperature sensing, radio chip, uh, microcontroller, and, and uh, RF to DC conversion. Nice, what does it do? So we transmit energy from uh, one sensor, and uh, from the transmitter, we receive it uh, on the other hand. And uh, while it's rotating, you can uh, measure the equipment uh, to monitor the, the equipment. Uh, monitoring. For vibration work, uh, yes, machine monitoring. So it's for monitoring machines? For monitoring machines, yes. All right. And uh, what is this one? So this is actually, if I can use yeah. it mic for a second. So this is the same board, but with the mounting cover. So you're going to mount it on your, on your ceiling. And this one is going to be mounted on the rotating part. So it's How far from each other must they be? Uh, so the target uh, application is about 20 centimeters apart. It can be also up to half a meter. It's a relatively short range of the application. And we are talking about uh, harvested kind of energy of about uh, 10 uh, milliwatt, which is more than needed for this type of application for this. Right.